views expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of WPSL. However, we do encourage you to like and share them on Facebook and other social media such as YouTube and anywhere you can share it, even with your friends. It's time for the Science of Caring, Curology, hosted by the one and only Roxy Brown. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, <laughs> Cliff, Operator. it is now. I can say it is absolutely good to be back. Missed I'll you. It is. Missed yeah. you. Almost a month. M- really? Well, yeah. yeah it's that's been right. Almost Three a month. Weeks. I took a little hiatus, but I missed you guys, and it is great to be back. And I hope everyone is doing well. If you're on the way on your drive home, please be careful because you know this weather came back to a whole lot of crazy weather but it is good to be back it is good to be back on Carology, and i want to thank bishop and i want to thank milo for hosting our shows for us while i was away i got a little sneak peek of it and i think they did a great job don't you oh yes yeah they did and then milo Milo and kurt milo i'm saying kurt her husband (laughs) milo and jet yeah, that, Jet, that is a strong son. young man. Yes, her, and I thought you wow, learned it at the he's end. He's a Pulitzer Prize nominee. nominee at 15 years old. Yeah. Yes, he is. Wow. And I'm glad to say I know him. I keep telling him when I get old, just remember me. Just remember Miss yeah. Auntie Roxy. Yeah. So, but um, it was good, and I'm glad I had them to come and help us out. I I have two great people that can come on, and we really really appreciate it. And I just want to say, everyone, we missed you. I got a lot of messages, so I decided I was going to come back today and do the last show in the month of June. So it is good to be back. And for those that are listening to Carology for the first time, Carology is a science of caring. Carology is a subsidiary of Carebag Incorporated, a nonprofit here under Treasure Coast. We cover the entire Treasure Coast from Vero all the way down to Hope Sound. And then we also cover West Palm Beach. We have two mobile shower units. And talking about mobile shower units, this Friday we are going to be promoting our next shower unit, which is going to be at the Salvation Army on US-1. So if you have anyone that you know is homeless that are in need of showers, or if you are in need of a vaccine, we're going to be having Johnson & Johnson, and I believe it's Pfizer vaccines available. Um, And that is going to be by the Florida Community Health Center. We'll be out there. And then the shower is at a permanent location at the Salvation Army. So we are very, very happy about this partnership and collaboration because we're making strides. CareBag's mission is very simple, to provide proper hygiene for those that are in need for the wellness of our community. No one should be able to, no one should have to go without a shower. That is unacceptable in the country that we are in today. But before I go into so much and get on my high horse, I really want us to put a word and a prayer out to all of those family members that are being impacted by the devastation in Miami. That is just so sad. And our hearts and our prayers go out to them. And whatever they're going through, we just, you know, we just want to give them a blessing and know that the nation on a whole is praying for them and just wishing them comfort. Loss is loss. It doesn't matter how it happens. So we want to just, you know, give a moment and just ask God to just be with them and just pray for the families because this is not easy when you're sitting there and you can see this going on day by day on the news, on the radio, and it's just repeating itself over and over again. So we just wish them peace Mm -hmm. um, during this time. And I have with me one of our guests in the show today is going to be Christine with Madison Miracles. And we kind of started around the same time, didn't we? We sure did. How many years are you in? Uh, Five years. We started in June of 2016. Okay, so we are basically the same years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to learn a little bit more about Madison Miracles and this is Christine Stamper and you're going to love to hear what she has to say because this is a really good organization and it is all about pregnancy and infant loss and maybe you haven't experienced it but you someone knows someone that has and it's just not oh my goodness I'm sorry there's a little bit more to it and we're going to get in depth and if this doesn't help you or you know someone that this that they may need to hear this tell them to tune in you know get on Alexa tell Alexa you need 1590 a.m. you want to listen to Carology or just log into our care bag page on Facebook and you can stream us live 
you can call in or you can put messages on. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. But I want to just say a big shout out to Mandy, Dawn, Jocelyn. A lot of these girls at St. Lucie Jewelry and Coins are going to kill me because I didn't mention everyone's name. But we just want to say, if you have not been to St. Lucie Jewelry and Coins, you need to go down there. That's one of my favorite stores. Long, 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 long. I've been going there a long time. They have some beautiful pieces, but the ladies and the gentlemen there are just awesome, friendly, and you are greeted by a little doggy if he's there, and it's just a great shop to go to. And just Hawk is a big supporter of Carebag, and we just want to say thank you so much because without what he does, we couldn't do what we do. So we just really want to say thank you to him. And we want to say thank, congratulations to our first winner that went ahead and won the drawing on June the 17th for the grill. We posted their pictures all on our Facebook page. And our next drawing is coming up September 17th for the JVC 55 4K Smart TV. You can't win it unless you get in it. So I'm just going to put that out there. Just only thing you have to do is go to givecarebag.com and you can go ahead and you can see how to enter into into the drawing and remember December 17th at 2 p.m. at Lexus we are going to be pulling the winner for the 2021 Lexus UX 200 this is not I'm gonna say it's slow because a lot of people Cliff are thinking that this is a lease this is not a lease option and the taxes are paid so you will have a paid free car that you don't have to give back nobody's saying your lease is up this is your car so go on to givecarebag.com and you can see all our rules regulations everything about our drawing coming up but the next one is september 17th and it's a jvc 55 inch 4k smart tv i have seen the tv courtesy of two men in a truck and we are very happy for that and we'll see who the winner is on that day so i'm very excited about that very very happy about that and if anyone is calling me that knows me and listening to me i am on the radio so i cannot answer my phone sometimes you got to do that christine <laughs> because everybody knows where i am at tuesday at 605 but some people might not know i'm back so i do not answer my phone while we're on the radio but um care bag is just I got distracted, so I'm going to go back again. <laughs> Care Bag is a nonprofit here in the Treasure Coast, and we deal with the proper hygiene. So every Tuesday and Thursday, our office is open for anyone that is in need of hygiene items. That can be from deodorant to soap to depends to pampers for our babies, depends for our elderly wipes. Um, it's if you if you're in need, go to givecarebag.com. You can even go to our page for our pantry items, and you can see what is needed. But right now, I'm going to put a call to action out. I have a grandmother that just got custody of her grandson, and he is four pounds. Mm. He's a preemie. He's four pounds, and she, the baby just came to her today, and she has nothing. She has no crib. She has no high chair. She has nothing. So I'm, this is the first time I've ever done this because this happened just on my way driving here. I got the information. She called 211, and they immediately told her to call us. And me and her had a good talk. Um, unfortunately, the mother has passed, so now she has custody of the child. And um, But the baby is preemie, and she needs all the help she can get. So we are looking for she has a car seat. But we're looking for any small, tiny, in, any infant clothes, high, high chair, anything that you know that this grandmother can be blessed. She is here in St. Lucie County. And if you want to reach out to us, only thing you have to do is call 772-222-7399. And I'll repeat that again for you. It's 772 772- two 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 seven three nine nine and you can get in touch with us if you need any more information and we're going to try and see how we can help this mom she's in the this grandmother i'm sorry she's in the process of getting everything done but until all the i's are dotted and t's across and she gets the birth certificate we just want to make sure the baby the baby comes first that is our main priority the baby comes first so if you're able to assist in any way please reach out to us and we'll be happy to go ahead and put you in contact with her so that is that's what's going on and care bag has our gala coming up and we are over excited about it it is going to be at the Wyndham Grand in Jupiter 
And everyone's saying, well, Roxy, why did you leave St. Lucie County? Well, Roxy did not leave St. Lucie County. Care Bag is in all counties from the Treasure Coast and Palm Beach. So we wanted to pick a central location, which was Jupiter. 45 minutes away, people. Come on. So it's going to be at the Wyndham Grand. It is going to be spectacular. And our theme for this is Dinner at Tiffany's. So this is a black tie event, and it is going to be spectacular. We have some awesome prizes. The car will be there, so you can sit in it, feel it, touch it with the big, nice Tiffany bow on it. And we're going to have some exciting prizes, some exciting Tiffany prizes. It's going to be amazing. And 100% of the proceeds go that we can keep doing what we're doing. Our shower units are running. Our mobile hygiene pantry is running. Our, our shop, our brick and mortar shop is open so families can come. And they are in need. There are a lot of families. There are a lot of mothers that are not working. There are a lot of families that have lost individuals, lost jobs, or they just can't go back to work. There's so many facets to what's going on. And we're just proud to know that we're still in a pandemic. People are still being sick. There are variants out there, and we want to know we can keep them safe. We can keep the children and our elderly safe, help people, help individuals that just need that little help along the way so they can have a little extra money for their light bill or have a little extra money for their water bill. Diapers are expensive. Pads are expensive. You know, <laughs> they're, it's ridiculous, ridiculously expensive. So anything we can do to help these families along the way, we're very happy about that. And uh, just remember, if you're interested in winning a 2021 Lexus UX200, does that sound good, Christine? Mm -hmm. And the taxes are paid, and this is nationwide. So if you have someone that you know that can use this car, let them know. $25 will get you a long way, plus you got one of our prizes already gone. So, And she was happy. They came down to Lowe's, and Lowe's was so happy to put the grill together for them, and they put it in their truck. So, And that was a perfect father's gift for her husband. So she And she was local, which was nice. Mm -hmm. So we're very happy about that. And the funny thing about this, Christine, um, when she won, she told me her name, and my husband said, do you know who that is? I said, I have no clue because they're randomly picked. And then when I went to meet her, I realized she is the pastor. She's sorry. She is the wife of the pastor that I went to their church to do a presentation. And they gave me over 800 underwear. New, new, wow. p for anyone that does new <laughs> underwear. Because when we do our mobile shower units, they get, our clients get new underwear. Not used, not gently used, new underwear. Because I don't think anyone wants to wear anybody's gently used anything mm -hmm. so they get unmentionables knickers we call them knickers they got them new and they went to the church and they got me boxes and boxes and to see her win and not know it felt good it really felt good and i'm hope they're enjoying that grill and lows at jensen beach thank you so much leanne and the crew we really appreciated that so like i said i have christine in here and christine is the ceo and founder uh, correct, right? Yes. CEO, because think <laughs> boards change. You know that, right? You got Board, it. Boards make you make things happen. But see, Christine Stamper is the CEO and founder of Madison's Miracles, and we met at the same time when both of us were starting a nonprofit. Yep. And uh, it was, um, it's a not, it's a nonprofit that's that's a little bit close to my heart, um, because this this happens to a lot of individuals. It hap unfortunately, it's happened to me. So um, this this is something I've experienced. So I've n I've known it, and there was nothing around when this happened to me, Christine. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna let me be neither. And because that's right, but mm -hmm. I don't want you to say me either. I want you to tell your story. So <laughs> I'm going to give you the floor. Okay. And uh, you came on a good day because my talking is really little low. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you go ahead and tell us the story of. What is Madison's Miracles? Well, um, my name is Christina Stamper, and I am the founder of Madison's Miracles. Madison's Miracles is a pregnancy and infant loss charity that helps families with loss, whether it's miscarriage, stillbirth, or even infant loss. Um, we provide free um, funeral expenses. We'll pay for those for the families. Um, we also have uh, free support groups and we also provide 
one-on-one grief counseling. Now, on top of that, we place these units called cuddle cots in hospitals, Mm -hmm. and it gives the gift of time. It gives time to the families to absorb what's happening without being rushed. Um, 14 years ago, I had a stillbirth, and her name was Madison. Um, I had two hours to say hello and goodbye, and that was not enough. And so we were rushed, and with the cuddle cot, families can have a couple days, and they can absorb. Uh, We've had a family that had lost a baby and the mom was unconscious for three days wow and when she woke up she was able to see her baby if she did not have a cuddle cot she She would would have just heard the story she would heard the story see the pictures correct Mm -hmm. so she she got three extra days with that baby they had before COVID, obviously they had uh, a service where family members came from all over the country to come and see this baby grandparents got to hold their grandpa baby and Mm -hmm. say goodbye dad got to read a bedtime story it's not the time that you want and hope for Mm -hmm. but it is time and if you don't if you don't have a choice Mm -hmm. it is don't well you don't have a choice and you don't have a choice and you don't and what it does is it helps families get that closure Mm -hmm. that they need to be able to sustain and uh you know with our free support groups and and one-on-one grief counseling we're able to take them through the walk of grief and help them get on the other side and be able to do something positive with this grief mm-hmm. well that is you know what um pictures a lock up here sometimes that just doesn't do it and mm-hmm. having the coddle cut i think that is a wonderful experience that someone's going to be able to do i'm going to give you a question and when we come back from our break oh we're going to take a break cliff i'm getting in the hang of things i'm getting yeah, back you, in the you, hang you of know thing. all those little secret hand yeah. signals off <laughs> camera yeah i'm getting in the hang of things sometimes you guys can't see what's what i can see what's in front of me but um i want to ask you a question and when i come back um you can think about it and answer it um i think i might know but i want the others to know okay how many states have you gone to and how much impact has it made with the cuddle cost what are some of what are some of the recipients of the mothers the fathers the grandparents what are they telling you to say oh my goodness don't answer because no because i want you to say it. and right when we come back we're going to hear from christine stamper the ceo and founder of madison's miracles pregnancy and infant loss and giving back a little bit of time That's what we're talking about, giving back a little bit more time. So we'll be right back after these messages from our wonderful, wonderful sponsors. If you could reimagine the way you buy a car, what would you do? Make it simple, make negotiations disappear, demand transparency, then experience amazing at your Treasure Coast Lexus dealer. Car Buying Simplified. Treasure Coast Lexus is a proud sponsor of Carology. Every Tuesday at 6.05 p.m., caring and supporting for our community. Car Buying Simplified. Check out your Treasure Coast Lexus dealer. How would you like to win a Lexus UX200 with taxes paid? no car payment that sounds terrific go to givecarebag.com all proceeds go to help our local nonprofit carebag incorporated where they provide access to proper hygiene to those in our community in need we also have two additional prizes go to givecarebag.com to find out how you could win a beautiful 2021 lexus ux 200 no lease taxes paid Drawing December 17, 2021. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. And now back to Carology with Roxy. Thank you, Cliff. Thank you. Again, my name is Roxy. I am the CEO and founder of Carebag Incorporated, where our mission is very simple. It is providing proper hygiene to those in need for the wellness of our community. And welcome back. If you're just tuning in with us, thank you for joining us on Carology, the science of caring. And tonight, we have our guest, which is Christine Stamper, the CEO and founder of Madison's Miracles. And 
her nonprofit deals with pregnancy and infant loss. And I love this little phrase, giving back a little bit of time. And you can use that. Yes. <laughs> and you are, aren't you? <laughs> Every, I, these things just come up to me and I just, but I love that, giving back a little bit of time because that's what you do. It's a gift. It's, it's a gift of time. Yes, it is. It is because um, I didn't have it. And, you know, starting this charity, I wanted to give families everything that I did not have. Mm -hmm. You know, 14 years ago, these resources weren't available. And even 14 years ago, people did not talk about it. So I make a little pathway so that the families can get comfortable, say their baby's name, honor their child, and not be afraid mm -hmm. to keep it in. Yeah. So let's go on some questions now. Straight, straight talk. How many states have you gone to? We have our cuddle cots in 24 states. Woo, can we have a clap? My clapper, Cliff, my... <laughs> We have a clapper, but okay. we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it live this time. Congratulations Thank on you. that because Thank it's you. important. It's not just a, this is not just a Florida thing. No. Um, congratulations Thank on that. You. Wow. Thank that you. is very, very amazing. Congratulations. And, yep. And we're at 118 you. cuddle cots so far. Wow. We donated our very first one to the state of Florida, mm -hmm. uh, 2016 to Cleveland Clinic Martin Health, mm -hmm. and then we did uh, Tradition, and then uh, St. Lucie Medical Center. So that is those wonderful. were the first three the in first the state one. of Florida. I remember your first one. I mm -hmm. remember that was a good day. I yes. remember when you did that, but that is amazing. Do, do we want to do another one? That is amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. just do another Audience clap. applause. Audience applause. There we go. We turn the light on, they all clap. There That's you go. wonderful. <laughs> yeah. It's working. So you know what? When... A nonprofit is hard work, and when you can accomplish something, it needs to be applauded. So my hat oh, off. Thank you. My hat off to you on that. So one of my other questions were: What are some What are some things that mothers and fathers say to you? Well, um, I've without gotten going calls, into too much private detail. Correct. Uh, correct. Mm -hmm. I have gotten calls, emails, uh, text messages from people that. You know, when a cuddle cot is running, they have a plate, and each one of these cuddle cots are donated in memory of a baby mm -hmm. gone too soon. And they say, I used your cuddle cot, mm -hmm. and my mom was able to fly from California to Illinois, mm -hmm. and we were able to, to have this time. time. You know, if not, she would have never saw mm -hmm. her grandbaby. You know, my mother-in-law was two hours away in Orlando when come. she got to the hospital it was too late. too late and she missed to see her grandbaby and so I think about that a lot when I do things and when you know the ministry goes is I think about what we have been through mm -hmm. and it really comes from the heart a place of caring mm -hmm. you know I've been able to talk about it talk to other grieving moms and be able to be a support system Talking about support system, I know, I know, so we're going to share our, the information that I know. You started doing grief and support. What, what grief and support do you do? Is it just female? What, well, what is it? Um, we have uh, our support group. We have one in Vero that's male and female mm -hmm. that couples can go to, either ma male or female. Um, we have a Port St. Lucie group at the community center. Mm -hmm. Same with that one. And we have a Stewart support group. But this year in February, we started a dad's traveling grief support group. Wow. And that is available. We go back and forth between Martin and St. Lucie County. You know, men can't sit around a table and yeah. talk like women can. Yeah. <laughs> they just they can't do no. it. So um, what we do is we make it fun where they're doing stuff. We've been With to pop. Hands. We've been going to pop stroke, doing virtual golf. Mm -hmm. uh, last month we had a bunch of the guys come to our office and learn how to play poker. Okay. And then, and then uh, next month we're going to be at St. Lucie um, Super Play to do okay. some bowling, bowling, and you know, mini golf, and mm -hmm. you know we're going to find different things that they like to do, and they're able to get around that and and have a healthy talking grieving because you know men, they want to fix things, yeah. they want to take care they, of their wives, they can't but fix nobody this. is 
nobody's looking to them, them you yeah. know. So Everyone's looking for them for the support, correct. but not looking for them to see how their grief is. And the thing with men, when men start getting together and talking and being with other men that have been mm-hmm. through the same thing, now they know, now they know they're not alone. That's right. And being not alone is very important. So very good. Yeah. That's good. And you know, what's great is, is that, you know, the husband comes to the regular support groups and mm-hmm. you see him be there in a supporting role. Then when they go on their own, you see a totally a different person. Different person. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it was my husband, Chris, that gave me the idea to do this. I like, her you know, <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a hoot. <laughs> um, and my husband, you know, he went through this grief and he was alone and all mm-hmm. he did was work through his grief. Yeah. And, you know, we want to give our families every opportunity to get the help that they need so they can go back in society and do what they're meant to do proper closure that's it it's just not just closure it's just proper closure that's what it is you got it and it's not just the infants when when this happens it's Uh, the family we recently personally in the last couple of weeks we lost a stepdaughter Mm. and uh she had just turned 40 she just became a grandmother, mm. and we had to take her to hospice. So it's not easy at any age losing, you know, a, losing a child at any age. It's child, not, yeah, you, it's yeah. not easy. And it's not the natural order of things. things. Right, no, right. it's supposed to be gra- never. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, the parents should never bury their child. children. That's yes. It. Yeah. So when you I say com- that all the time, yeah. Yeah. when <laughs> you come out that natural <laughs> order of things, it, it it brings a little chaos. The ba- the world now seems unbalanced, and we have in our society, which you know, Cliff, we've talked about it on so many different levels on so many different shows. Everyone thinks it's taboo to talk about something everyone thinks it's taboo to sit in a group and talk but let me tell you something if you don't sit in a group and talk you see all these crazy behind people that are shooting up all these places they needed to talk yes oh we are not politically correct on this show (laughs) (laughs) but But that's true communication is is communication is true and then when you keep things bottled up inside right you need to have an outlet you know we we teach our families how to channel their grief and Mm -hmm. to turn it into something good we had we had um one of our family members start baking because she loved to do that it was mm-hmm. healing for her she started a little little cupcake business Ooh, mm-hmm. and nice. it's it's called pretty little cupcakes named after her son parker who was um who lost his life um three months after birth mm-hmm. uh, from sids and his name was parker lee coleman so mm-hmm. pretty little cupcakes Aww. and uh, i'm so proud of her and and all of the angel moms that have gone through the program and then they welcome new people and they kind of like mentor Mentor them them. so it's it's really grown into something i could never imagine it to be oh yeah who you telling yeah (laughs) we used to just well you know like when careback started careback we used to just go out into the woods and i remember going to the woods going to the campgrounds from hub sound all the way down to jupiter and now two mobile shower units Mm -hmm. you know you you don't know what a dream or well, you don't know what something will mature into when it, when it grows. We right. also, I think we recently here at the studio met the company that uh, created your banner and did some wraps for your mobile shower units, I think. Yeah, that the was, speed, at, well, no, speedy. Alex, Speed, uh, speed. they didn't do this, they didn't do but they did, my, they did our mobile shower unit. Yeah. Yeah, they, she did a beautiful job on our mobile that shower unit. Amazing. Yeah, and if anyone wants to see it on Fort Pierce at the... Salvation Army, right on US One. It's the only one on US One in Fort Pierce. The big, one of their biggest stores. Our mobile shower unit is parked there right now. We will be going live. South Market Avenue in US One. That's it. Bingo. We'll be going. We'll be. We'll be. I will be there on Friday. But um, back now. We we digress. <laughs> Especially when you're live, you can't. Yeah. You can't rewind and no. We once it's out, it's it's out. But um. I love that you have now moved into the grieving and the counseling because because that's important. Mm-hmm. The counseling is important, especially for the men. Men are always thought of last. Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, but when something's wrong, they're the first ones we call. That's right. You know, and our yeah, hats everybody's, go- uh, w- you know, what about the mother? Yeah. The mother's the mother. had the birth. Mother mm-hmm. had this. And, you know, they don't realize that the, 
the dad lost their the, child yes. too. Their hopes and two. their dreams. It took two. Yeah, it their hopes two. and their dreams too to have a family. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, my husband and I were never able to have another child. So, you know, that's also pretty devastating mm -hmm. for, you know, him and for me, you know, we had to figure out how to channel that into mm -hmm. something else. Well, you channeled it out with Madison's Miracles. And, uh, you know, it goes, if you're, if you're, fee if you have a, first of all, if you have a question and you're on our Facebook page, you're more than free to go ahead and give us a question. We'll be happy to answer it. But if you feel that you want to go ahead and you want to call, just dial 772 340-5090 and if you have any questions or you want to find out about anything from Madison's Miracles we'll be more than Christine not me I'm sorry let me rephrase that Christine will be more than happy to or if I'm going to give a number so grab a pen because I know most of you know the number to the radio station but if you want to go ahead and you want to do it on a more personal level and you'd like to call just go ahead and dial 772 285-1802 and they will be happy to go ahead and answer any questions you have or if you've been through something and you just want to go through just counseling you know do you offer that to we we do we okay. offer one-on-one -on -one grief counseling with a licensed mental health specialist Wonderful. we have a counselor in Vero Beach Port St. Lucie Stewart Palm City Okay, so I was correct. I didn't know, but I'm glad I didn't speak out of turn. So the number is 772-285-1802. And if it's something you're going through, you only thing you have to know, you don't have to go through this alone. alone. It, if you didn't have a coddle cut, that is okay. But you will meet mothers, you will meet fathers that can go ahead and help you walk through this path of your grief because it's not good to walk through it alone. You always need someone to talk to. And we're glad that Madison Miracles is here that and provides this service to the mothers and to the fathers that have lost a little bit of their time in their life. And you know, we applaud we applaud you for that. So what else is going on that with Madison's Miracles that you have added? You have a new location. What is your location we used do. for? We we are now in the Children's Services Council building mm -hmm. in Stewart. Uh, 10 cent um, 101 Central Parkway in mm -hmm. Stewart and uh, we have an office in there and we just wrapped up our big celebrity chef event our fifth mm -hmm. fifth annual celebrity chef event we had lots of chefs from around um, the, the two counties and they raised money and most of all they raised awareness for Madison's, Madison's. Miracles and uh, coming up in October, October 9th, we're doing our fifth annual Remembrance Walk and 5K Run for Babies Gone Too Soon. Was I at your first or your second you one? You were at our second, second one. Second one. Just to let everyone say, about, ooh, Roxy. No, Roxy did not run. And Roxy did not <laughs> she walk. She was a great volunteer. I she, was a volunteer. She was handing out water and she yes. was clapping for all the yes, runners. I was. And she's like, you go, go, go. You go, you go, girl. You go, boy. Yes, you yeah. can do it. Yes. Yes. One day I will run and I'm sure I will have a lot of people out there, Cliff, <laughs> wanting to see that happen. But right now, I am a big supporter because yeah. what and and that's something that why that's one reason that I decided to do careology Christine I wanted to let everyone know especially we we invite nonprofits on here at no charge mm -hmm. and we want them to share their story of what they're doing in the community because yes we all know about each other but how many people know about Madison's Miracles how many people know about care bag how many people know about new horizons so it's a good way to get it out that's the amazing thing about the guests and issues you presented mm -hmm. on this show right they're all very 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 necessary and mm -hmm. helpful it's not there, it's not a competition especially right no it's, it's not a competition right. no. it's about we us all work together, together. Yeah. And, you have and yes. how many how many have, have suffered through the same path mm -hmm. as, as as what we're talking about right now that is correct and, and when people get together and talk about it that's when the healing begins. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we want people to know, you know, that is why um, uh, we had a we had a great show last week and uh, I, I loved it. I was I was talking to somebody about it because that that is our future. You know, we had a young mm -hmm. man on last week. His name is Jet. And me and my husband always joke about that's going to be the next president. Um, <laughs> he's 15 years old. He's already an author. Wow. He was He's already a Pulitzer Surprise, Prize nominee. nominee <laughs> at the age of 15. Wow. Um, just amazing. When you talk to him, just, just amazing. And he helps me on my show. So if I have something I need in research, 
I just bring out the phone and I text them and boom, it's done. I said, Jed, I need to take, I told him, I said, Jed, I need to take a nap today. Boom. He got me, you know, there's <laughs> this, it's a, it's a community and that's what it's about. It's about us working together. It's about us nourishing each other and letting other people know what we have going on. And that, that is so, so important. And we wanted to let people know that. So your run is at 6.30 a.m. Well, that's check-in. Check-in, check-in. begins then. Uh, 6.45, we usually do a Zumba warm-up. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo, I did that. No, I did that. Yeah. It was funny, but I did it. I did the Zumba warm-up clip. And then the race starts at 7.30. We I was shaking. We will have face painting. We will have fairy hair. We have complimentary coffee and Danish um, usually Natalie's uh, orange juice, beet mm-hmm. juice, all that kind of good stuff. We'll have music, a photo booth, lots of fun, lots of great things for the kids. Um, if you make a team, if you go on our website, madisonsmiracles.org, and you create a team, the person with the most people on their team on race day will win a $200 gift card to Ocean Republic Brewing. Oh, so you run and then you get some beer. That's, That's just right. perfect. Cuz we have our after party over there and they've okay. got the best brunch. Okay. In so town. There, there you go. So and one then of those craft beer uh mm-hmm. yes. breweries, yeah. And then after you finish, popular. after you finish with all your they beer, they have something called a recovery beer. Oh, okay. <laughs> so when you finish with all your beer, you go home You'd rest, you relax, and then you get dressed now to go to the gala in the yes, window. There brand. you go. Boom, there you go. <laughs> unless unless you want to join me and head on over to a Mexican restaurant on a Saturday or Sunday morning for Menudos. No. That, well, that's on October 9th is the gala. Now. It's the gala, so you got to go to the gala. Oh, my. Yeah, it's the gala, so you got to do the gala. And that's going to be absolutely awesome. I don't have to run, but I can sure fake it. Yeah, I can fake it too. I just clap. I just do it in slow motion. Yeah, I just do it and clap. But you know what? It's like we said, if someone has a question or if someone has anything they'd like to add, please, you're free to call. Um, and we will take any calls or any messages after the break. We're going to go to a break, Cliff, and we're going to hear from our sponsors. And, you know, we're going to talk a little bit more about Uh-oh. our drawing coming up. Um <laughs> The police are on their way. Yeah, they, um, they want to be there. Too. They want to <laughs> be there too. Um, we're going to give more information about what what you can do to go ahead and help Carebag as we move forward. But we will be right back with our guest, Christine Stamper, CEO and founder of Madison's Miracles, right here on the Treasure Coast and into West Palm also. And we will be back after these messages. Thank you, Cliff. It does seem like if you're present the United States. Why call two men in a truck of the Treasure Coast? You want to move your business without moving a single meeting? You want it handled with no fuss. Lots of stuff, no time to move it. You need the pros that care. That's why you call two men in a truck of the Treasure Coast. Family owned and operated franchise. Call 772-236-0827. 772-236-0827. Movers who care. Visit two men in a truck, treasurecoast.com. How would you like to win a Lexus UX 200 with taxes paid? No car payment. That sounds terrific. Go to givecarebag.com. All proceeds go to help our local nonprofit Carebag Incorporated, where they provide access to proper hygiene to those in our community in need. We also have two additional prizes. Go to givecarebag.com to find out how you could win a beautiful 2021 Lexus UX 200. No lease, taxes paid. Drawing December 17, 2021. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. Are you or someone you know grieving from the loss of an infant or a child, no matter how young or how old? We've got something going on here right now that can help. Stay tuned and listen in. We return now to Careology, the science of caring, with your host, Roxy. 
Thank you, Cliff. Thank you. And if you are just tuning in with us and catching the last couple minutes of our show, welcome. We are so happy to have you. My name is Roxy, and I'm the CEO and founder of Carebag Incorporated, and we are a nonprofit on the Treasure Coast that deals with the wellness of our community, our homeless, our families that are struggling just to get proper hygiene. And when someone, t- when I tell someone that, they look at me like it's weird. So this is how I explain it to them, Christine. If everyone could remember those long, long lines of individuals needing food during the middle of the pandemic, those people were always needing food. It's just that now they had more access to get more. That's number one. So those individuals are getting government assistance, but food has risen and gotten more expensive and the amount they get basically stays the same. So if someone cannot afford a gallon of milk, a dozen or 18 eggs, how are they going to afford deodorant, diapers, depends, lotion? These are things that keep us clean. And in society with us going through this pandemic, now we've just not had COVID-19. A couple years ago, we had the influenza. You know, that we every year we have something. And if we cannot go ahead and keep our community clean, that means that we are constantly going to have a problem. Please, everyone, take your head out of the sand. Do not think that the homeless or individuals that can't afford anything don't go anywhere. They go to Publix. They go to BJ's. They walk because you don't need a car to go walk into BJ's. You need a car to buy. They go to Publix, BJ, Sam's, Walmart, the gas stations. They go everywhere you go. And what we're trying to do, we are really trying to bring wellness to our community. And if we can bring wellness to our community, soap and water is the trick. Soap and water is the trick. And that is what we provide. No baby should be sitting in a soiled diaper. No mother should be removing feces out of a diaper so they can use the diaper again. And trust me, that happens. If you think it doesn't in our great country in 2021, that happens. So what Care Bag does, we provide dignity. That's basically what it is. We provide dignity to those that are in need. And it's important. And that's what we want to continue doing. So if anyone wants to know what is Care Bag Incorporated, that is Care Bag, providing dignity to those in need. Our homeless, these used to be our neighbors without walls. They used to have a home once upon a time, Cliff. But now they don't. And living, we don't have, everyone hears me talking about it from the mountaintop. We do not have shelters. We got pet shelters for dogs. We sure do. We got a whole lot of them, We can't take care of people, though. No, we can't. Mm. And um, it's a shame. I have, um, it's, it's funny because these, I get all these messages right before I come on the show. And I got, um, I got a message from a young man. And he said he's blind. I haven't been able to get in touch with him because I was coming to the show. But uh, his message is, his message was um, very interesting. And I'm going to, once it pulls up, I'm going to go ahead and share it with you once, once it pulls up. It's, um, it's sad. And it, it makes you angry. And I don't know what to tell this gentleman. I have no clue what I'm going to tell him. So um, this is what he said. He said, um, hello, uh, my name is Randy. He let me know where he got his, where he got my number from. He said, I am legally homeless. And I sometimes live at a guy's house. I'm misplaced from Michigan due to the pandemic. I lost my home and it got foreclosed. I am looking for a place for housing, either temporary or something until I can get something because he is legally blind. Um, here is my number. And then he just went into some, per- he went into a lot of personal, de- Christine shaking her head. Oh yeah, he went into <laughs> a lot of personal detail. But um, what am I gonna tell him? Because there is no place for him to go. You know, and um, and I want people to sit on that. There, you don't know what's going to happen. Those those families in Miami that have been displaced that were not in the building, um, they're gonna have hotels and they they have family that can take them in. And but for those that don't have family, you know, we we need to pray for them because you don't know what's gonna happen. It takes 
a, it takes a, a, ha- a fraction of a second for something to happen for someone to be displaced. Not everyone has family. Not everyone has family that likes them. You know, not everybody has family they want to go to. There's, there's, there can be abuse. There can be sexual abuse. There can be physical abuse. There can be so many facets to why they don't want to go back. So, you know, don't look at someone, oh, you can get a place. The rent and housing has been at the highest that I have ever seen it. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it this high. So if you think $1,000 a month is going to get you something, it's going to be a rat's nest. That's exactly what it's going to be. Like I tell you, I'm not politically correct, Christine. Mm. (laughs) Sometimes people need to just hear it. So what do I tell this man now, Randy, um, where where he should go? You know, where because it's not going to be it's not going to be here. You know, it's we have Vero, which is a transitional, but they teach you how to work. They teach you how to do this at his age. Now, what is he able to do? You see what I'm saying? So this is, I'm, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to call him. I'm going to let him know. But then we're going to try and work it out. We always we always find a way, but we shouldn't have to find a way. There should be a place where we can say, you know what? Here's a temporary place we can have you because you're blind. But he, but he has so much hope and enthusiasm. Yes, so, he does. In spite of being legally blind. Mm-hmm. That, that's amazing in itself because uh, that's, that's how a survivor mm-hmm. survives. They, they are, the, the ability to overcome... Whatever life circumstance happens to be that would uh, that w- would take you out of the the norm, yeah. And when you're legally blind, you know that that's not normal. But somebody existing in spite of it, mm. and and still can you know offer hope for himself. He can offer hope for others too. Yeah. So you know what? That's what we do. Every nonprofit that we bring on here, it is um, not only do we bring dignity, not not only do we bring compassion. We bring we bring something called hope because without hope, it is really hard to do anything. You you have to have hope, Christine, and that that is something that each and every one of the nonprofits we've had on this show has been able to bring to someone. So if you're listening, if this show was what you needed to hear, I hope that it blessed you. I hope that it went ahead and it did something that you can know you're not alone. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat the number again. And it is for Madison's Miracles. And it is 772 775-1802. We will have this up on our YouTube and we, it will be placed on our Facebook page by tomorrow. We always go ahead and we put up the information as our guest because not, not every nonprofit can help everyone, but you don't know which one could help. Or if you know someone that's your next door neighbor, you know, someone that has just been through something, they might not know, let them know that there is someone they can talk to. And you know, let me, I meant to ask you this question because we only have a few minutes left. The hospitals, do hospitals offer this to their to the mothers when this happened? We have we have cuddle cots on in every hospital on the Treasure Coast, and some hospitals here have two cuddle cots That's because of uh, you know of the rate of loss and especially which during is COVID. One out of every two hundred and sixty pregnancies in a day. Yes. So yes. that's one life gone. That's one that's one life that needs that time. That's one life that the parents have a little bit of time to go ahead and just and have that time and the time is precious. So Christine, I wanna say thank you, thank you very much for coming and being our guest on Carology. We loved having you and we're happy that we're able to share this information and we hope that it reached even if it's one. That's right. That's mine. That's it, right. That even if it's one, that is gonna be a blessing. So what I wanna say, it has been a privilege to come back and to get into the groove of things here on Careology. And we have an exciting guest next week. And I'm not going to tell you who it is because I want everyone to come on and listen and find out who that guest is. But I just want to remind everyone about a few things. If you are interested in our drawing that we're having, I just want to let you know 100% of the proceeds go to CareBag to go ahead and help. If you're not interested in saying, you know what, I don't need a Lexus. Or if you want to see the Lexus, you can go to Treasure 
Treasure Coast Lexus right here in Fort Pierce. The car is there and they'll be happy to show it to you because we did a nice video. It's a beautiful car and you can go and see it. That's where we're going to be having the drawing from on December 17th. Or if you can say, you know what, I have too many cars and I'm not interested right now. <laughs> Make a donation to CareBag. Go to GiveCareBag.com. Find out about us. Learn about us. Come down to our shower at the Salvation Army on Friday or come drop by our office on Tuesday and Thursday or give us a call to learn more information about us and we'll be happy to share what we do. And we just want to say thank you and again to the families that are suffering down in Miami through that horrific accident with that building our heart goes out to them that's another reason to support care bag because i see down the road care bag might uh somewhere someday be able to like loan out a shower unit to a place like that well actually i'm going to help you with that in case it w if if by chance we have a natural disaster as hurricanes and yeah. there is an area that is out our shower units are able to go there. So this is not down the road. Right. We can help. We've helped a lot of places that have wanted to borrow a shower unit. So we're here to help. So just think about it. If there's another bad hurricane yeah. and you need a shower yeah. or I'm about to say something else, if you need a shower or a <laughs> shave, <Yeah. laughs> Miss Carol, I'm being good. If you need a shower or something or a shave, I got my hand you on know. the button though, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to be good. We're good, we're good. Um, we, you know, care bag, we're there and our county knows it. If there's a natural disaster and showers are needed, toilets are needed, our, our two units are available to our community for our use because that's what care bag is about. So what I want to say, everyone, is it's been a pleasure. It's great to be back. And you will hear from me again every Tuesday. You can catch us every Tuesday at 6.05 right on WPSL. You can find us on Alexa TuneIn. Get us on YouTube within 24 hours or just log into our care bag page and you can watch us live. And I am looking forward to next week. It is I'm just going to let you know we're going to be talking about Amendment 4, the rights of Amendment 4. And it is going to be a really good show. So if you are someone that has wanted your rights back that you can vote this is the show you need to listen to next week. So what I'm going to do is we're going to sign off. We're going to say, Christine, thank you very much. Thank you, Roxy, for having me. You're very welcome, my love. Cliff, Carol, everyone out there to my other co-hosts, Milo, Jet, Bishop, everybody have a good night. Love you. And we will be back next week, Tuesday at 6.05 with Carology, the science of caring. Know that we care about you. We want to go ahead and we want to bring wellness, education, and knowledge back to our community. It's just one nonprofit at a time. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll be back next week. Thanks, Cliff. Whenever you see Careology on Facebook or YouTube, share it with somebody. The topics are awesome. And uh, on the YouTube side, in the archive, you'll also find playlists for Careology.